Today on Hoopty Doodle, sparks fly after we snowblow a driveway and we finally reach a major build milestone. What we've got here is another invention of my father's. It is an engine stand. The concept here is that you strap the engine down onto these metal bars here. This is mainly designed for engines that bolt straight down onto a frame. This isn't exactly gonna work for our engine because the bolts are on the side and through the side of the engine. The advantage of strapping it down to this is that it has these rubber grommets here. You can see how the bar is sandwiched between two pieces of rubber and that helps with the vibrations so that when the engine gets running it doesn't vibrate all over the place and vibrate this board all over the floor. So how we're going to use this is take some 2x4s and place them on top of these two pieces of flat stock metal with the boards on there then the boards lift the engine up above these nuts here on the side Another bit of fun today is this exhaust. I want to save it and reuse it. Society tells me I'm wrong. I say, F society. <laughs> Alright, but really, the, um, yeah, so you can see where this rusted off right here. This is what came off of it. Gloves. So this guy here, I'm basically going to cut it off right there, and then I'm going to go ahead and wire brush it all down and try and clean it up. And I do the same for the other one. Then my plan is eventually we'll be able to use this on the bike. I'll have to add an extension on the back of a much shorter than stock exhaust when I'm done as a plan. And then in the meantime though, we can use these, use these shortened headers to run the engine off of the bike here on the floor. So for this surgical procedure, I'm going to be using a cutting wheel and a high speed grinder or angle grinder, this guy. It's time for the wire wheel. All right, my friends, the next step is to attach these exhaust pipes onto our little engine here. Can I do it? Hey. All right, so I spent a few days cleaning up the carburetors on top here. They were covered in oil previously. They look a lot better than they did. They're still not you know, pristine in any manner, but they're usable. And this is probably how we'll use them because this is not going to be a pretty show bike. It's going to be a runner. We're going to run this sucker. So my plan is I want to try and take these and see if I can finagle them onto the engine with these straps and everything in place. We're coming along. Next is the electronics. I've got the entire wiring harness right here. Uh, we've also got to hook up the, uh, the fuel pump right here. So I've got a line coming down from the carburetor. I need to hook it up to the pump here. I'm gonna go ahead and throw some motor oil in this thing. And for those of you that aren't already aware, to check the oil, there's no dipstick on this thing. It has a little window. This guy right there. It's got to be between those two lines there. And then before I can start it, I've got to hook it up to fuel. So my dad conveniently has this engine IV set up where you can hang the fuel above the engine and run it on the floor. Yeah, we've done this before. My dad does this all the time. I don't know where this stand came from. It looks like a coat rack of some kind. And then he's got this little tank off of an Articat snowmobile. So the filler for the oil is right here on the right side of the engine. Hello, oil. Hello. All right, in order to run this thing, we've got 
a number of contraptions going on here in terms of the wiring harness. I've got the original wiring harness on there. The, we've got the wiring harness hooked up to the battery the way it normally would be. So the battery's connected right there to the, to the main fuse and the solenoid here, the relay, and then this connects to the starter over here the way it normally would. I've also got the pickup coil here plugged back into the wiring harness. And then we've got the battery here grounded to the engine over here. Then I've also got a ground here running over to, these are the important minute details. There is a ground wire here that grounds a number of things in the harness that's grounded out. And then right here, there, this is the neutral switch that's also grounds out. Then we've got the coils here, the ignition coils. These are also plugged into the wiring harness. And then off of here come the spark plugs, which are of course connected to the spark plugs. Then we've got our key ignition here. We've got the key turned to on, the on position. And then this red connector here, this is where your, your kill switch would be as well as your start button is up here. And so I've got a jumper on the kill switch connections right there. So that, that is in the on position. And I've got a jumper over here. This is the wiring that would go to your clutch. And I've got this jumped so that the clutch sensor basically, it thinks that you're holding the clutch in. And then the only other thing is, and you need another jumper in order to actually start this thing. And you jump it from, there's a yellow and red. Jump it from here to this guy. 